Good day folks, so here's the idea. I was having issues regardless whatever projects I was using. I isolated basically the um, high frequency from the main trigger, two separate uh, kinds of powers here, and uh, people were giving me suggestions and whatnot, and I was experimenting with what I got, and I decided to simulate it with this high voltage, high frequency um, oscillator here. And I, and I guess it always boils back down to some Tesla here, and I thought of his high is high frequency one wire system so I figured let's do that you know so this is a DC output pulse but we don't want to use it as DC at a little bit of Tom Bearden we want to keep the loop open so here's your one wire here and I got it set up to a capacitor here to make sure that the DC stays isolated and a typical half bridge rectifier which charges a capacitor here and guess what it seems to work just fine so just to show you that I'm gonna trigger it with my hand here okay so now I'm holding it 1.5 volts triggering it and look what happens to the capacitor here quick charge this is not optimized there but the point is we're not feeding into the DC we're not even letting it spark gap so we're not using much current this all run for six hours on a um, 1.5 volt battery here so this gets back to a dumping mechanism and this DC folks is completely isolated so it would be easy at this point to dump this back into this battery here and have a sort of sustaining but I would probably want to build tunable LC circuits to enhance this but the point is we can this completely isolates the DC and gives us the high frequency what we actually want so this might be the simple that I should method that I should probably incorporate from now on if I want to isolate this kind of energy. So now we're already over the meter here because this only goes up to 20 volts. I'm done, but the capacitor is charged up. You could always discharge it here real quick on the motor. There you go. That was quick. So I have an impedance box here. There we go. It's always a little bit of voltage coming in because um, these uh, rectifiers here are getting straight. This is acting as an antenna. But yeah, so that's it. If I could do it again, but I think you get the idea. This is Tesla's high frequency one wire system. And you can convert that back to DC with the help of this setup here. And it works just fine. Like I can't run anything from it at this point, but it charges it'll the capacitor will build up a DC charge out of it in return, which is a way to convert it. So basically, that's it.